I'm gonna give you 17 of the best apps for YouTubers to help you run your channel, make content, and more. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so we're covering a lot of apps here, so I'm gonna do this kind of rapid fire style so that I can do this in as little time as possible. Because I know you got other videos to watch and I know that you're probably gonna spend some time looking around and installing apps and things like that, so here we go. One, Mindly. Mindly is fantastic for basically breaking down video ideas and breaking down different types of content or playlists that you're gonna be doing on your channel. Number two is Background Eraser. This is a great tool for cutting yourself or other objects out of a photo so that you can use them in your thumbnails. Three, Pixel Lab. This is awesome for making thumbnails on your phone and for making channel art on your phone. I've made a tutorial about Pixel Lab. You can check that out right here. Number four is DU Screen Recorder. This is gonna help you record your screen. It doesn't matter if you're making games or if you're doing artwork or any other thing that you would like to share your screen for, DU Screen Recorder will help you do it. Number five, the Creator Studio app from YouTube. This is gonna help you manage your channel. This is gonna help you do comments on the go. This is gonna help you look at your analytics. This is gonna help you add thumbnails or change thumbnails if you want to on your phone. All types of awesome stuff inside of the Creator Studio app. This is a must have for any YouTuber. Number six is Kind Master. Kind Master is an awesome video editing app for your phone. I also made a tutorial about this. I'll put a link to that up here as well. Next up is Tweetcaster. Let's say that you have a personal Twitter account and you have an account for your YouTube channel or let's say you have multiple YouTube channels and you want Twitter accounts for all of them, Tweetcaster will help you manage all of that. Another one to keep sharing your content on a regular basis is Hootsuite. You can also use Buffer for this. Essentially, it's Twitter automation with a little bit of front end work because you have to sit down and schedule in everything. But once you have it all scheduled in there, you can set it to basically tweet at the best time so that you can get the most reach out of the tweets that you do. Screen stream mirroring. This is excellent for taking your screenshot of your phone and actually displaying it on your computer. So let's say that you are doing something on your phone and you wanna show it on your computer and record it there or just do something else with it on your computer, then screen stream mirroring will help you do that. What else do we have here? Um, Legend is another useful app. I mentioned this in another video. Basically, this will help you make text transitions. It'll also help you make intros and things like that that you can use on your channel, which if you're not doing any type of motion graphic stuff, it can really help spice up your content. Snapseed, which I also mentioned in another video, and I'm gonna keep mentioning Snapseed for probably a long time because it is absolutely amazing for photo manipulation. So if you really wanna make your photos pop in your thumbnails, you really wanna make your photos pop in your channel art, and even the, the, the images that you use inside of your videos, Snapseed can really help you dial in an awesome look on your images. The Patreon app, which is good for staying on top of your Patreon account, I've got a link to my Patreon account down in the description below if you wanna help support the cause. The appear.in app is fantastic for, you know, sending somebody a link and having them hop onto a video call with you really quick if you're trying to bounce ideas off another YouTuber, or if you have a fan that wants to reach out to you and have a quick conversation, you can just send them a quick URL and then you can hop on a video call with them without anybody having to install anything additional on their computer or anything. The app is fantastic for that. Open Camera is another app that is fantastic for dialing in how what your video looks like on your phone so you can basically make all of your adjustments manually instead of having everything on auto, which is pretty handy. Evernote, of course, is great for organizing your ideas and being able to sync it all up with your computer and all that stuff so you can kind of brainstorm on video ideas on the go. And then when you get home on your computer, then when you open up your computer, then everything's gonna be all synced up in there, which is pretty convenient. Google Keep, kind of the same idea as Evernote, but you can also drop in pictures and video clips and web URLs and things like that to kind of store a bunch of ideas. I should probably organize all of those idea things into one, but I don't because I use them all for different purposes. So that's why I'm, I'm suggesting them separately. The AdSense app is good for keeping track of the money that you're making. This next one I wanted to save for you because you watch this video a lot longer than probably most people. And because of that, I also wanna recommend the Google Analytics app. So if you are into digging into your stats to figure out what's working, what's not working, where traffic's coming from, the actual user flow of things and stuff like that, if you plug your analytics tracking code into your YouTube channel, then you get a whole additional set of data that they don't provide to you inside of the YouTube Creator Studio that can end up being extremely valuable um, for your channel. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.